smell nice. They've left the posture powder off, Ian. I'll get on to them. Yeah, you do that. And um, when you're putting this on, make sure you put it on nice and tight because you want gravy stains all down your nice new frock, would you? <laughs> Most of them will be grandlies. I swear every time he goes to a wedding he gives a set of school crockery he's filched. <laughs> I could clear them out most days. No, no, you don't need to go skivvy in on us. I'm, uh, let's get back. Hey, we're, uh, we're looking for a new washer-upper, so if you're interested, just, you know, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her dead king, can't you? It'd be well weird if you moved in with us, though. I wonder whether to call him Dad or Mr. Clarkson. So, when were you going to tell me, Lane? Like? There's nothing to tell. Tom came round. He was pleased that I passed my exam, that's all. And now he's acting like a lovesick puppy. And all because you're not the thick or you make out you are. Ooh, passing an exam hardly makes me clever. Yeah, but <laughs> nabbing Tom Clarkson does. Well, he's not going to fancy a flippin' dinner lady, is he? Well, I'm just saying, I mean, if it were me, I'd have me claws in him before anyone else could. Dinner lady or not. <laughs> Molly. Do you reckon it's happening between Mum and Mr Clarkson? Hey. Do you reckon they love each other? Come here, come here. Mate, that is not about business, OK? You haven't been shooting your mouth off, have you, though? No. Good. I'm done, right? You've seen how she is? Yeah, so? Well, it's Mr Clarkson that's making her happy, isn't it? And he's a damn sight better than most of the rubbish she's brought on before, isn't he? So, do you reckon they're going to get together then? I don't know. Okay, and I don't want you getting your hopes up either. But it does stand more of a chance if I have to school it gossiping, okay? So keep that shut, all right? I'm not sure how the kids are taking it. Me and one of the teachers. I see it's daft. Well, it's daft about it. I mean, you're not that bad looking at that line. Oh, well, compared to the oil painting you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, one minute he's got me down as an alky shouting from the rooftops. And the next, he fancies you. But, but he's never said that. Not in those words. So who needs words? Either he wants him or you don't. But what if he just saw the rebound from Davina? I mean, she's more his type. Yeah, and then how come she ain't around anymore? Hmm? If you ask me, you need to stop looking for reasons not to get involved and just get stuck in there, girl. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I've just got to sort things out. Make her a need to know. Means telling her about the adoption. Do you think that might be best left to Chloe? Yeah, uh, I guess when she's done that, the worst of it's over. Still, isn't going to be easy. It's a decision she's got to live with forever. Anyway, um, I better pack her a bag. Tom, do you know what to pack? Do you want a hand? I mean, no, I, I didn't mean to, I just... No, you, you should come. I want you to. You'll be a lot more useful than I will. Come on. Here they are. Tom, hold on. Well, they look pretty sorted to me. Listen, uh, thanks for today, Rose. I don't think I could have got through it without you. <laughs> no. No, I mean it. 